Hello YouTube, welcome to my laboratory. Today we're going to uh, show you how to build a laser optical bench. Um, when I originally started to build this, uh, I was looking for a linear motor and my thought was to use a speaker as a linear motor. Uh, so I built the mount here and I mounted the speaker up um, and the next thought is to you know, put a mirror mounted on the speaker and I tried various ways to to do that and I had some difficulties. The problem was is, is that it wasn't linear. It would go in two directions. It would wobble left and right. Um, so what I'm demonstrating here is uh, if you take, uh, vo um, take audio and put it on a motor, it will vibrate. So I've got uh, an output of a speaker on this motor right here. And you're going to get to see a lot of this here coming up. Here's the Lepi amp that I got from Amazon. I think it was like 25 bucks. I just wanted to give you a, show you what that looked like. And I got the laser on here, and it's connected to the linear motor, which is connected to the amp. And I've got music uh, plugged into this. So you get to see an example. The motor is driving the mirror up and down. Now, one of the problems with the mirror is that when it hits a big bass bump, what happens is it wants to uh, go totally off angle. And you do see that here a couple times in the video. You can see how this looks better. It's actual linear. It just goes up and down. And I'm playing uh, uh, a tone here. I'm actually uh, working with SCH Tone Generator. Okay, so now you get to see some soldering. Uh, there was a lot of soldering in this project. And now you get to see some more soldering. And I think I even got some more soldering in here. Uh, I recorded over an hour of video for this. And eventually what happened is like, oh my gosh, I got to cut some of this out. And so this is an entire voiceover except for the end when I got some true audio. But anyways, uh, some more soldering. This is a little fast forward if you like. And I know we're jumping all over the place, but now we're moving to making the laser mount for the optical bench. Uh, so I'm just going to cut a piece of acrylic here. And uh, then I'm going to drill some holes in it. And uh, the whole thought here is I'm just going to wire tie the laser to the piece of acrylic. This is an SD Laser 303, just so you know. And we're going to head on over to the mill and drill a couple holes for some wire ties. Here we go with mill. Fast forward. Um, here I'm just demonstrating how to wire tie the laser to the piece of acrylic. So uh, just playing with the optical bench, I, I definitely recognize the need for movement of the mirrors. And it needed to be easy. So I decided to use a piece of steel here to go ahead and um, um, to go ahead and just mount everything on instead of the piece of aluminum. This is actually um, this is stainless steel. This is, I cut this out because I installed a sink uh, outside, and this was uh, what was re the resultant of. So if you own one of these uh, Harbor Freight um, uh, metal saws, you'll probably go through this routine, uh, install, putting the blade back on when it falls off whenever it jams. So there's a little demonstration there of that. And then I go off to go ahead and I'm, I'm polishing it. Sorry, it's out of frame. Sanding it and rounding the corners. And there we go, a finished product uh, that will not cut you and is smooth and clean. And let me show you why I decided to use this. I've got uh, high strength magnets here and look, they stick. Now true stainless would not stick, but uh, in this case it does. I knew that ahead of time and that's where I decided to use this. But it doesn't seem to rust very well, so I'm pretty happy with the steel. I'm going to go ahead and remove the components off the old board and I had them hot glue gunned down and uh, I'll get those prepared. Um, to stick on the board here. Uh, wh when I was playing with the magnets, I also happened to notice that my calipers, Rufus's calipers, not mine, uh, they're magnetic as well, so that's not true good stainless steel as well. And I'm going to go ahead and measure the magnets here, and I know, although you can't see it, uh, they come out to be one quarter of an inch. And it just so happens that I got a one quarter inch uh, milling bit, and I uh, set my uh, calipers one quarter inch to give it a depth. So if I take a uh, mill in, which is one quarter inch, and I cut it to one quarter inch depth, I'll get it one quarter inch square. So I'm just using uh, Rufus's um, K 
calipers here to scribe them all and I'm going to go ahead and mount them in the mill and I'll bring down the milling cutter here, the one quarter inch milling cutter and I'm going to go ahead and mill these out in two sections right here so just watch guys Uh, so probably about now you're getting bored to tears, but I thought some people really like to see the mill cutter going through acrylic. I mean, I really enjoy watching these videos cutting through, and uh, what a beautiful piece of equipment a mill is. And I don't use it a whole lot for metal, but uh, man, when you need it, it is there. So we're going to go ahead and cut the acrylic that uh, holds the laser. I had to cut the straps. Um, to get it in a milling machine and then want to come back and mount it with the uh, new wire ties I'm sorry what we're going to do here is demonstrate how the magnets were inserted most of them were uh, interference fit I just pushed them in there and they stayed I did have to glue one set of magnets uh, and then I tested here on the bench and it holds really solid So I got the laser mounted here, it's doing a really good job, I decided uh, I got to twist some wires together and you can see I got the laser there reflecting off of the mirrors here, I'm going to do a kind of a demo here. You can kind of see the mirrors spinning with the speed controllers there a little bit. Um, oh, back to addressing the problem with the uh, linear mirrors. So what I mentioned was is that when you get big base hits they rotate. So I got I built these little blocks and I got screws in them and I, I ran a tap through them to get them glued them onto the block and these are stops to keep it and you can see the uh, audio rotating them there and then I've got some sound on there and you can see the linear motor running again I, I think this is a really fantastic stuff watching this right here for you that didn't get enough soldering we got a lot more soldering we're building a reversing switch right here uh, and we're gonna go ahead and mount it in uh, aluminum plate um, it, you get a really good effect if you can reverse the motors, you know, not when it's running, but you, if you want to change your effects, you, you need to have a reversing switch going ahead and mount it in the plate here and then wiring it and kind of getting it all kind of uh, tightened up. And we've got some more soldering and some more wiring and some more electrical. And I want to kind of get this kind of tied down and get it all kind of neat. So uh, uh, you'll see how clean it looks here in just a second. Whoops, sorry about that. I thought you wanted to see more electronics and uh, soldering and wiring, so I wanted to give you a little bit more. You'll notice that I tin all my leads uh, before I put them in there. And uh, here in just a second, uh, I'm going to put the uh, power connectors on. And uh, there it is. It's done. Beautiful, huh? I just wanted to comment how weird it is to narrate yourself after you've already done everything. Um, wow, I don't even know how this video is going to turn out. I'm just going to go ahead and post it. But anyways, uh, here's some more electrical wiring for you and uh, things going on. I hope the visuals uh, are good enough to uh, kind of outweigh the, the narration. And if you didn't get enough, I've got a little bit more soldering for you guys. Here you go. More soldering. Uh, in case you all don't know how to do this, I could do a detailed show on it if you'd like. I think we got it all set up. Let's watch the mirror spin. So I did a segment on the speed controller. I just want to let you know I'm feeding these uh, 5 volts with a 4 amp transformer. And I got pretty good control. The reversing switch works really well. Um, you can tilt the mirrors. Uh, this is an awesome, outstanding optics bench. I have not seen anything like this anywhere, and I'm really happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off, uh, uh, that aluminum angle there, uh, to the right size. It's going to kind of match the top of the amplifier. The amplifier dries the linear motors. There's two linears, one vertical, one horizontal. Uh, and you'll see this all in the video. Um, so the amplifier, you plug it into the stereo, it drives them, and you can either feed that music or oscillation. I'm going to attach this with uh, the 3M double-sided sticky tape. 
uh, right on top of the amplifier to try to go ahead and get it all collapsed down. And just to give you a little teaser, I'm going to show you some of the effects. I just got it uh, on the garage wall here, but I'm actually going to feed you the sound that's going in there. Uh, there's tons of effects, and i got another video coming up to show you all these effects coming up. Uh, one more quick test of the motors here, then I'm going to go ahead and line the uh, laser up, point it up uh, towards the door over there, and show you guys what it actually looks like with this is the real audio uh, driving the linear, and I've got the rotating assemblies as well. Still got a few more things to do, but uh, here you go. Here's a demonstration. Okay guys, that's a demonstration. Uh, I was playing with it uh, outside. This is on my cover on my patio, but I just wanted to see a little bit more. Um, and I've got the next video coming up, which is actually going to be the big reveal, and I'm going to show you all the things that this thing can do. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Please leave any questions in the comments section. And if you like my videos, remember to thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends.